Hey, how's it going, guys? Super Duper Presents here with another video. And like I told y'all, we're doing mod after mod after mod. Because on Monday, we get in tune. I'm ready for it. Like, car's ready. Car's ready. Like, I've been doing everything. Y'all saw, like, I need the, all it needs is an alignment. I'm doing the coilovers right now. Honestly, I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to show you guys an install. Because I already did the springs before. It's basically the same thing. You take apart the back interior, you know. It's literally the same thing. I don't want to repeat myself on here. I just want to more show you the build and what I'm doing. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. So here she is. As you can see, I already installed the rears. Uh, I got some more arms on actually, SPC. But I saw the rears already. I was test fitting. Uh, the, the wheels look great now. Now it's not gonna rub because it would have rubbed on the other setup. You see, I already got the front ones off. I was on before, a lot of people asked me this question. When I was rocking the 305-45-17s on the RPF ones, I was on RSR downs. So they're right here, as you can see. Where's the RSR logo? RSR downs. Honestly, these are great. They felt good. The ride quality was just a little bit stiffer than the stock. I really recommend the RSR downs if you're just looking to do springs. But um, obviously, I needed the coilovers now for the adjustability of where I want my wheel to sit because these tires are really fat. And as you can see, I barely clear, like, like I'm so close with the 15 setup. Like I barely clear like all my control arms and stuff. Like it's crazy. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, and I know people have been asking me for these specs as well because I've been getting messages. These are 15 by eight, zero offset. 15 by eight plus zero offset. So no offset on this and they clear everywhere. I didn't have to modify anything, literally. But I would I would say if you have the Red Sport brakes in the rear, like the upgraded brakes, the Akibonos, I believe they won't fit. But mine did, because mine is mine is a Lux. I just did the big brake kit in the front. So just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get installing. I went, I went ahead and went with race lines as well, because these honestly just came out. I installed them on a customer car. And I like the way they feel. The only thing that downside about these, they don't have adjustability of how soft or um, how soft or hard you want the ride to be. At least because I haven't seen any adjustability on this one. Because usually there's like a tab on top, on top of here, like that you can adjust it, but I guess not on these. But I really liked how they felt on the customer car. And I think it's a really good budget, budget friendly. Uh, I think they were, they were like a little over 500 shipped. And the nice thing about Raceland, I'm not sponsored by the way, uh, I would love to be, but the nice thing about Racelands is they are lifetime warranty. So anything happens to them, they cover them. I believe as long as you purchase it through them. But I guess uh, let's keep going with the video. I'm gonna install them all, show you guys the fitment after. Obviously um, you're gonna need an alignment every time after you, after you adjust any suspension components, you need an alignment, which I can't do that. So I, uh, like the rear end, I just eyeballed it, but I'm gonna take it to a shop. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install the, the forward one now and then show you guys how it looks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and keep going. And uh, just a little pro tip, uh, when you do these, never adjust your coilers from here. You always adjust ride height with this one. This one, it's always preset from the, from the company. So don't ever adjust this because you'll mess up your, what is it called? They call it like, your spring pretension or something, but don't ever adjust this side. Just adjust the bottom. And I'll show you guys a little bit how to do that, just in case you guys are doing these at your house. And oh, also the rears, you have to reuse your, your top hat. So on the rears, you have to remove your stock one and reuse your top hat from, from the rears only. Um, it's, it's not that hard to do, it's just this one nut. You just hit it off with the impact. But make sure you have a spring compressor because if you don't use a spring compressor, that that thing's gonna shoot out. So just as a disclaimer, I'm not responsible if you guys damage yourself or your car. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. All right, so this is a coilover wrenches. I'm doing a full install, like I said again. I'm just showing you guys like what, what comes in the kit. But so basically what you do is you, these two are for your spring tension. These ones are already preset, but sometimes they're a little loose. These ones right here. So those you're gonna, them against each other so that way this doesn't spin 
and then loosen the bottom one. And you see the bottom one here, so you can adjust the right height. And then you're gonna just turn this with a wrench. Sometimes you can turn the whole strut by hand holding it, but it's usually you gotta do it with a wrench like this. So you're literally gonna just go on one of them, put the color wrench on, and then adjust like you need, as needed, like the thing to go up. And it's not the easiest process, but you literally just go up or down, whatever is needed. So obviously this is down and the other way would be up. So that's how you adjust them, that way you know. And the way I got it on is uh, taking off the top and then I take off this bracket here, it makes it easier. And then uh, take the nut off and then kind of bang it out the way. And then just adjust accordingly. It's, it's pretty simple to do the fronts, but the rears are more of a pain because you have to take your rear seats off, some blinking cover in the back. It's just kind of a mess. If you guys have seen my spring video, I have more in depth to taking off the like the rear seats, but it's it's not as bad as it seems. But I'm gonna get the I'm gonna adjust my ride height now, put it where I want it, and then uh, go for a test drive. All right, so there it is. Sheesh. Suspension's dialed in now. As you can see, I give it enough room just for when the car squats. So that should be plenty. Now I just need to go get an alignment now at the shop. And then tune day, she's ready. Literally, that's, that was it to this build. Hopefully she don't blow up on the dyno, but we're gonna find out. So uh, stay tuned for that video for dyno day. And like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next Biff 58 on my gap. And uh, any Biff 58 can get it. So if y'all in AZ and you're B58, slide through. I don't wanna hear no excuses anymore. Peace.